Kuto Sholoza Kule Zontaba Stimela I've gone to 23 the tournament that keeps on giving and Bafana Bafana have knocked out Africa's number one team World Cup semi-finalist first team ever African team to make the semi-finals of the World Cup have knocked them out 2-0 2-0 2-0 and <laughs> guys 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 this game was just drama 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 First half wasn't it wasn't too much drama actually in the first half. It was just everyone just trying to feel each other out, you know. Let's see what you're made of, let's see what we're made of, and things like that. But then second half kicked in. And this is where everything started happening. Like, first of all, this game, Ziet was not playing. He was injured, so he missed the game. Uh so uh, Sophie and Bufal as well is uh inj- well got injured in training, so he was ruled out for the tournament. Coming into this game, South Africa more or less picked the same side. I had said that they had to, they had to pick the, the game they won 4 nil against Namibia. I feel like that starting 11 really gave them something and had confidence. They're the same ones who got them that nil nil draw against uh, Mali to take them to the round of 16. But today, I need to give a big shout out to the coach, Hugo Bruce. Hugo Bruce came up with a very simple tactic. We're not going to play in our half. And we are going to just make sure we're going to soak in pressure when we need to, but we're going to be solid and we're going to be a threat on the counter. And he had uh, previously he had been playing with a kind of a four two 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 with um, evidence and Moreno up front. Or it's a, it was like a four four two four two 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 hybrid, right? And this time he's just like going to play four two three one. And Pasitao has the license to go anywhere he wants on this field, wherever he sees space, he goes to it. He, you could see him at left back. You saw him at right wing. You saw him at left wing. Evidence, you just stay in the middle. Um, Dembazwane and uh, Mukwena in midfield just being solid. And Sitole just making sure he's backing up the, the defense. At first, Morocco are getting a bit of joy on the right side. Especially um, Hakimi, um, Adli, and I think it was it was Unai. I can't remember who gave that pass. Who gave that pass for one of the chances. Morocco had gotten a few chances, but it was just like a few, not, not, not really great chances. But like there were chances, right? Um, and in the second half, they just showed up. They're like, we're not going to concede chances on that wing. And the other thing with Morocco that I've seen throughout this entire tournament, which I saw with Algeria as well, they really just tail off in the second half. Like, they just... just is, this mos- is this mosquito from Morocco? Is this all up in my business? Yeah, so they're just like... Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, they tie in the second half. Like, energy levels kind of drop, and it's like, okay, what do we do? And you could see them making changes. 57 minutes, ah, Temba Zwani with that great through ball to Evidence. Evidence Magopa scored the goal. I was also watching the Arsenal game because Arsenal had just scored as well. And I was like, hey, was he offside? He's offside. For sure he's offside. Then we look back. Glinsman has not raised the flag. We're like, hey, they go to VR. They give the goal. And we're like, oh, here we go. 1-0. The game has just gotten evidence, did so well to get into space and finish. One thing I will say about Hugo Bruce as well that you people need to recognize is that evidence Magopa and Mokwena, who I'm going to talk about him shortly, they came through the Olympics team. They actually scored in the Olympics. And these are people who are promoted to the senior team. And you can see, you see what growing players actually does, giving them opportunities at youth level, and seeing them come up the ranks. Since when they come to the top level, you you are building onto something. There's a foundation that you're building onto. So we need to give a big shout out to um, how ASA is just promoting its players, um, what this does for other players who are in the system, in the Olympics, system, like who got the Olympics, the under-23s and stuff, right? Like, look, look, look at the pathway. There's a clear pathway to get the top of South African football. Not that thing of nepotism and, you know, I mean, it's still there. It's Africa, but it's not that bad. So anyway, um, well, we are one nil up, right? Uh, 64th minute, key moment. Sofian Amrabat gets his first yellow card. Hey, we shall get back to that shortly. And then, and then, Morocco are just trying to pressure. They're trying to pressure. They're not really getting a good chance, but they're trying to pressure up until that one shot from Ayu Belkabi that hit my man of the match, the man who showed fight today, who said, I'm not losing this game. The first three minutes, you already had two blocks and a great tackle that created a chance. Motobi Mvala. This boy, or oh man, <laughs> was everywhere. Everywhere. Like, he was everywhere. He was tackling everything. He was blocking. He was reading everything. 
he's not that tallest center back but he's aggressive and he's mobile he was also on the other end he was trying to get into onto the end of crosses uh, from set pieces like he was everywhere so for me to see he was down to consider the penalty i felt so bad i was like in this moment this boy does not deserve this you have given your all you are man of the match in this game and then steps up Ashraf Hakimi and in, in the TikTok live guys we've been doing TikTok lives all through the tournament yeah <laughs> in the TikTok live um what happens i can't remember who said Kinan Kinan is on Kinan from box to box Kinan is like yo Hakimi is going over and i was like Kinan i hope i just hope you're saying the truth because i don't toy with my heart right now don't toy with my emotions then Hakimi steps up and the boy places it onto the top of the crossbar and it goes over the bar over the bar and i was celebrating guys i was hey we won cloud nine on tiktok live i'm sure everyone who was there was just jumping for joy because everyone wanted south africa to win this game so yeah then that happens and now i'm like okay now we just need to hold on we have a few minutes to go shout out to steph talks football by the way steph talks football was all through the, all through the game was there does amazing content on sa football check 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 that page out you just need to check it out um you just check her page out and then um we go into added time right we're going to extra time no uh, not extra time we're going to time added on injury time and mokwena just decides i'm going to go for this break and he goes for the break and then sofia and amrabat decides a I need to do something real quick. <laughs> I need to injure this man. Not injure, but I need to bring this man down because he's not going to score. And it was more of a nonchalant challenge, but it was also those challenges where he, he wanted to do it and he was like, ah, I'll do it and nothing will happen to me. Lo and behold, the ref was like, nah, bruh, you're getting your second yellow. The man was given a second yellow card, was given a red card, and I was like, this is it. This is it. We just need to hold on. And then as he's walking out, he thinks he has hope that he's going to come back. The ref says he's going to VR. I don't know why he stopped and why he was celebrating. You're a professional footballer. You need to know. A professional footballer that plays for Manchester United. VR, can, VR cannot overturn a yellow card. So he was standing there with hope. Everyone is standing in hope. And I'm like, guys, the only reason he's going there is to make it a red card. Like, it was so obvious. And we were seeing it in the chat. Literally every single person in the chat was like, this has to be a straight red. Because why else would you check, right? VR cannot check a yellow card. He goes, comes back, rescinds the yellow card. I'm seeing him like this, like he's about to get excited. He's given the straight red card. And then what does Mukwena decide to do? Mukwena decides, I'm going to stick this in the top corner, top beans, and send the Moroccans out. That goal went in, guys. I went wild. I went wild on this couch. I was just jumping up and down. And just like that, Bafana Bafana have knocked out the world Sorry, Africa number one in Morocco. My bracket is busted. I said Morocco and Senegal are going to meet in the final. I don't care because now it's about the underdogs. And I really, um, it's a good story to know that South Africa have made it because it makes AFCON way more fun. Way, way more fun. Also, also, before I finish, why was Regagui on the, on, the, on the bench? The man was suspended for four games. He only served one suspension, one game suspension, and he was on the sideline. That's a story for another day. You guys can pick it up in the comment section. Whatever is happening in African football in Morocco, I don't know. You guys will need to school me. But all I know is Bafana Bafana are through. Nkosi Sikeleli Africa.